Today is a great day to get pickled. Oh no, I'm not talking that kind of pickled. We're the wine sisters, we don't get pickled. What I'm talking about today is a glorious pickle dip that is popular at every party, like wipe the bowl clean popular. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I'm also gonna show you a couple of great wine pairings that are gonna go just splendidly with it as well. So stick around and let's get pickled. Hello, wine lovers. I'm Erin from the Wine Sisters and welcome to our little corner of YouTube. This is the place where every week we show you how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. And today I have a really fun one for you. This is going to be all about the pickle dip. So let's get right into it. Into our bowl, I like to use a really big bowl to mix. It gives me lots of room and then we can transfer it to a nice serving bowl later. So I'm gonna use for about eight people, this is about a cup and a half of full fat and fully delicious sour cream. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use about a half cup of room temperature or softened cream cheese. And then I'm going to use just about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. And now into this, I'm going to add in my diced up, my minced up dill pickles. And I'm gonna show you a couple things that make it sort of mine. So I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of chopped up or diced up pickled jalapenos. This is gonna give it a little bit of a bite. My secret weapon. This is dehydrated flaked onions. And I know some people are like, oh really? I'm like, this gives it a real umami, a real depth of flavor, a real thing that makes people go, hmm, what is that? The same addictive quality that goes into like a ranch dressing, this is what that gives it. So in that goes really nicely. And yes, I've washed my hands. I'm also going to use some sliced up scallions or green onions. In that goes, here is another secret weapon. See this, it's just about two teaspoons of Dijon. I like using that because again, it's another layer to the hmm. Now, could you use just like sour cream and pickles and a little bit of salt and pepper? Yeah, you definitely could. But what we're looking for when we make a dip as sort of straightforward as this one is we wanna get a lot of interesting layers to the flavors. We wanna get a little bit of that, hmm, what is that? We wanna get a little bit more of that compelling umami or something that really gives it some interest. And that's what this is going to do. So stir this up really nicely. It's looking good. I'm gonna put in a bunch of cranks of pepper because I like pepper. I've got some pickle brine. I'm just gonna put in maybe a tablespoon. That's gonna loosen it all up. And now a couple of other things that I've really found have made a major difference. So I'm gonna use regular lemon. I'm just gonna give it a good tablespoon or so right on the rasp. A good trick for this, guys, uh, I try to use organic lemons when I'm going to be using the peel or when I'm going to be using the rind. If you can't find it, wash your lemon with a little bit of vinegar. This will help just kill off any of the bits and pieces that might still be lurking on the skin, pesticides or herbicides or whatever they might use where they're grown. Just makes it a little bit cleaner for your consumption. Or don't, you do you. It's your recipe, it's your friends. We're gonna add in some dill. I like to snip my dill, it's kind of fun makes me feel a bit radical. You could, if you had to, you could just put your, run your knife along the side. But when you've got this nice fuzzy dill, frilly dill, just chop it right in there. Look how fun that is. Don't worry about those softened, like the soft little stems. You don't want these big ones in there necessarily, but the soft stems are gonna be fine and add a lot of taste. So I'm gonna use a lot of dill. I'm probably gonna put in three or four tablespoons of dill. I like dill. So you can see it's all coming together beautifully. What you're looking for with your dip is you're looking for a nice consistency. See how this stays on the spoon? We don't want it too runny, of course, because that's not what makes for a good dip, but you don't want it so firm that it, when you stick your chip in there, it breaks off. That's bleeping delicious. You don't even need more salt. Oh my God, that's good. You, oh, that's good. That's good, that's a, mm, you guys are gonna love this. You get a little, just a tiny little wink of that citrus coming through. Obviously it's kind of that briny bite from the pickle, a freshness from the dill. You get a little um, underscore of some of that onion. I'm gonna give it a couple more cranks of pepper because I do like pepper and you know, I can never leave well enough alone. More is more. A couple good cranks of pepper. Oh, that's so good. You guys are gonna be so happy. Your guests are gonna be so happy. And honestly, like look how quickly it came together. Just a couple minutes. So this is looking great. This will probably serve, I have eight people for the dinner party. Uh, and clearly this is not going to be the only thing that's going to be at the dinner party. So 
Um, Cause that'd be weird, right? Like come to my house for dinner. I'm serving you pickle dip. I mean, can't say I'd say no, I'd be pretty into it. But this will be good for eight people as part of a few other things. A little sprig of dill on there because you know, if you can be fancy, why not be fancy, right? Like just put a little sprig of dill right on that. Here's a really good tip for summertime entertaining or any kind of elongated affair. If you have cheese boards or creamy dips or anything that people are plowing through, maybe keep an extra serving or two in the refrigerator and then replenish so that it doesn't look like a dog's breakfast because people don't want the drags. That looks disgusting. Especially now we're all a little heebie jeebied out. So just keep something fresh so that way you can replenish and it looks really lovely. Now, I wanna talk to you about a wine pairing. So I've picked um, a Sauvignon Blanc. Why have I done this? Well, Sauvignon Blanc is one of the most easy to pair wines with foods that have higher acidity. So think about things like vinaigrettes or even ceviches, uh, wines that have a little bit more of that vinegary bite. Sauvignon Blancs also have a higher acidity. So when you're matching acidities, foods that have a higher acidity, think things like vinaigrettes, uh, think about french fries with vinegar on them, think about even ceviches. When you have foods that have a brighter acidic bite, you wanna match that acidity because when an acid meets with acid, they basically cancel each other out and both become a little bit rounder, a little bit softer, and a little bit fruitier. So it's a really nice pairing and that's why Sauvignon Blanc is an easy go-to for things like vinaigrettes. Also, don't forget, we've got these vegetal notes. Once again, we've got the onion, we've got the dill, we've got the pickles themselves, we've got some jalapeno. There's a lot of that vinegary herbaceous bite and that echoes the flavors of what naturally happens in Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc naturally has flavors of herbs, asparagus, fresh cut grass. And so the flavors in the wine and the flavors in the dip are somewhat mirroring each other, which is going to make for a great compliment. And then finally, of course, this dip is very creamy. We've got sour cream, we've got mayonnaise, and we've got cream cheese. So it's rich, it's dairy filled, it's got some great fat content, delicious fat content. No fat free, don't forget. And so what you want to do when you have that wine that has that brighter razor edge of acidity, it cleanses your palate and gets you ready for the next bite. That that dairy coating doesn't just sit on your palate, and weigh it down, this works as a yin and a yang to cleanse your palate and brighten it up. So that's my hypothesis. And I wanna make sure that I'm right. So I'm, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one for the team. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I've got right here a uh, Sauvignon Blanc. This one comes from the Languedoc region of France. We, I also have a Sauvignon Blanc that comes from California. Of course, popular Sauvignon Blancs, very popular region would be New Zealand. We make some great ones here in Ontario. There's some beautiful ones coming out of South Africa and Chile. Pick your favorite region and uh, see how that works for you. Yeah, you have that bright acidity on the palate. Hear that sexy saliva pool. You have a lot of flavor, right? This is a full flavored, full throttle wine where it's coming through as loads of citrus. It's coming through as a little bit of that gooseberry. Uh, I'm getting some of those herbal elements, but they're really restrained. So just some subtle notes of, you know, vague notes of like kind of a basil or kind of, um, maybe even a little bit of a cilantro, but it's actually a really lovely wine. So we've got this gorgeous wine. Let me try it with this chip, with the dip. And I'm not gonna make you watch me eat for that long because that's kind of gross and rude, but it's a really good dip. I love this dip, it's so good. Salty chip, okay, that's another element. We've got this creamy dip. I can still feel it on my palate, of course, so it's making me a little bit self-conscious to be talking to you about it. So I'm gonna take a sip. And it does, it's like magic. It cleanses your palate. All of that dairy coating that was sitting on your palate in a delicious way, though maybe not the most attractive way, but in a delicious way has now been cleansed and I'm ready for the next bite. The herbal of course matches, but then there's also the promotion of the fruit that comes forward as the acidities nullify each other. So I'm gonna say that this is a uh, home run pairing. I don't wanna brag, but it's kind of what I do for a living. Not brag like be a sommelier, like pair wines and stuff. I drink wine and I throw parties for a living. That is what I do. Okay, so enough talking about me, more talking about you. Guys, this was really fun. I hope you had a great time. I'm gonna pack this up, bring it to my party. I'll let you know how it goes, but I can tell you already, I'm gonna waltz in there and accept the adelaides and adoration of my nearest and dearest. Again, not bragging. 
But if you found this video helpful, please share it with your loved ones because we want to make sure everyone eat drinks and entertains like a pro. And similarly, if you did like this video, the best way you can support us is give us a like, leave us a comment. I'd love to know, what are you going to be eating and drinking? What's your favorite things to bring to a potluck or a party? Tell me, I really want to share the information and everybody else would really enjoy learning about it too. But yeah, hit that subscribe so you can get alerted to a new video whenever we drop it, which by the way, is every single week. So until next week, my friends, when I'm back with another way on how to eat, drink and entertain like a pro, stay well and drink better.